for our new wash house, our new laundry. We even have a little fancy little sign up there to tell everyone that this is our laundry. Um, I'm just going to take you around and show you some things. Um, if you've seen our other videos, you know that our laundry station was really kind of primitive. It worked for us for a long time. And uh, it's really, really nice to have something that's permanent though, especially with a roof overhead. Um, in the summer, it's nice to stay out of the hot sun. So I'm just going to take you around and show you a few of the things that my dad built in here so that my mom and I can do laundry more comfortably. Okay, so you can see that it's two-sided, so we both each have our counter, our laundry station. This is my mom's side. She has a little sink here, and she keeps it covered with the wash tub so that it doesn't get leaves or dirt inside when she's not using it. And she has her own ringer, of course, and the best thing is that this is where water comes in. So we can fill up our buckets here. Um, I usually have a lot of laundry going at once. My mom likes to do a little bit of laundry every day, most days that she can. I actually like to do it less than that, so I have a lot of laundry going at once, which is kind of really nice that we have this now because I feel like I can wait longer between laundry times. <laughs> so I have this big bin and most, this is like full of the dirtiest stuff. This is uh, like the dirtiest towels and Zach's work shirts and the socks and other things like that that are like the dirtiest. I like to separate the laundry between the dirtiest, not so dirty, and then the cleanest stuff, you know, like maybe um, like undershirts or the kids' boxers or, you know, things like that that aren't like horribly dirty. Um, and then usually my shirts, because my shirts don't as get as dirty as Zach's shirts. So I separate those. So over here in this sink, there's a plug down in here. So I have the pajamas and my shirts and my socks, which never really get that dirty, because I don't walk around in my socks like the boys do and Zach does. And um, some other things that don't get as dirty in there. And then over here I have like the kitchen towels, which to me are like really stinky dirty. So we have really beautiful counters. This is cedar wood that Zach harvested from our property and cut in our sawmill. And then my dad planed them down so that he could use them to build this counter. This is just an extra faucet that we can swing out and I had used it to fill this bucket. And all of the water is actually coming from this big tank over here. This is rainwater that we have collected from my parents' house from their roof. The rain flows down into the gutter and down into the pipe into the tank. Then to get the water in here, he has dug a small trench and put a pipe under the ground so that it flows from that tank down under the ground and up into this faucet and this other faucet right here. I mean, if you can see all of the pipe is stretched along the wall and down over here so we can use this faucet. So all of this water is provided by the rain. It's all rainwater that we've collected in the tank to use our, for our laundry. So you can see this small tank sitting out here. This is going to be used in conjunction with the roof for the laundry. So we like to make it a practice to have some kind of tank connected to every roof on our property so we can collect as much rainwater as possible. Um, the only roof we haven't really focused on is the roof of our house. 
but every other roof on our property has some kind of tank to collect rainwater. Um, a, the size of tank in relation to the size of the roof. of our new laundry station. If you enjoyed this video, please check out this list of amazing people. They are our patrons and they make everything that we do possible here. For more information on the benefits, please go to patreon.com slash an American homestead. Other than that, please like and subscribe and share us on Facebook. Check out the videos on the left. We'll see you next time on an American homestead.